Day 161, Honors Physics, Photoelectric Effect, problem number 24. I have this problem numbered in blue if you want to do it the long way. Bottom line is you want to figure out the frequency, the threshold frequency. It's saying the threshold wavelength. The threshold wavelength, threshold frequency all match the work function. Everything with threshold is inferring the, the work function, the work function for this particular metal or surface, which is metal. So if I want to do V equals lambda F, I, given the wavelength, 420 nanometers, I can figure out the frequency. And using the frequency, we've done this several times now, we can get the energy in joules. And I'm going to do this entire problem in joules. I think it'll be the fastest way. We don't need to go to electron volts in this problem. But the shortcut would have been, like we did in the last problem, if we combined V equals lambda F and E equals HF, we could, sub, we could substitute or solve this equation for F, which is V over lambda, plug it in for F over here, and you get E equals HV over lambda. This is a velocity, that's Planck's constant, and that's wavelength. So you could combine steps 1 and 2 into one calculation right here, like we did in the previous problem. I believe it was problem 23. So that would have been a shortcut to combine steps 1 and 2. Once you have that answer, that energy is the work function for this material. So that would go here. That's the threshold that matches the work function. And then I have my kinetic energy that I will calculate, which will come out automatically in joules. That's why I did the energy over here in joules, and I used the joule version of Planck's constant. You could have done that down here as well. So that now gives me the energy of the photons that are causing this photoemission. And it says I want the wavelength of these photons. Well, once again, I can do steps four and five as two separate steps, getting the frequency of those photons, and then using V equals lambda F to get the wavelength, because I'm going to know F. F will go into here then. Or the shortcut would be you could combine steps four and five into this. If you know the energy of the photons, which you do from step three, H in the joule version, and the velocity, 3 times 10 to the 8th meters per second, then I could figure out directly the wavelength of these photons. So that would be the shortcut if you want to take that path.